Hey, Plumber Tom here. Is this expansion tank installed correctly? Before you install an expansion tank, you should watch this video. Hey, quick explanation of expansion tanks. An expansion tank has two chambers inside of it, separated by a diaphragm in between. On one side of the diaphragm is water, on the other side is air. The purpose of an expansion tank is to allow for the thermal expansion of the water. As water heats up and it does expand, inside of the tank the diaphragm will flex, pushing and compressing the air as the water expands. As water is used at the fixtures, it flows out of the expansion tank and the air pushes the diaphragm back down. An expansion tank comes pre-charged with air pressure of anywhere from 25 to 45 psi. But on the water side, your system may have anywhere from 45 to 80 psi. So what happens if you install an expansion tank without adjusting the air pressure inside of it? Well, for example, if there's 70 psi on your water system and you only have 25 psi in the air chamber, this would immediately compress the air rendering the expansion tank useless. The important thing here is to remember that the air pressure should match pretty close to the water system pressure. So, if I know my system is at 65 PSI, I should fill up the air chamber to 65 PSI. This way, when the water pushes in and begins to expand, it will have somewhere to go as it compresses the air chamber. So let me show you how I add pressure to the air side of a new expansion tank. I use a simple portable air compressor and hook it up to the air valve. This compressor tells me how much pressure is in there, so it came with 38 psi. I can adjust the pressure setting to where I want it and hit run. Then it takes a couple of minutes for it to fill up. I'll usually find something else to do in the meantime. Then once it's done, I will disconnect the air compressor. I'll put the air cap back on the air fill valve and prep the expansion tank by putting some pipe dope and some Teflon tape on the threads and then it's ready to install. So preparing an expansion tank really doesn't take very long but it can make a big difference on the effectiveness of the tank. A couple of other important notes as you're installing an expansion tank. One, it should always be on the cold water side of the water heater. Second, Manufacturers recommend that the expansion tank be installed in a vertical position with the water chamber on top. The expansion tank should not be supported by the pipes that it's connected to. It should have some separate strap or way of holding the weight of the tank. The water pressure in the system should be 80 psi or less and if it's more than that, the system will need a pressure reducing valve and finally a cold water inlet valve is required before the water heater. So, looks like this expansion tank could use a little rework. Many plumbers do not even know how to properly install an expansion tank, but now you do. Thanks for watching.